Hey YouTube, it's BWP233 and I am pumped to give you an amazing diecast for you today um, on a very special diecast and I'm here with a very special guest, the man, the myth, the legend, Robbie Noonan, Race Day 2011. What's up man? Not much bro, uh, well I really can't wait to film this review with you, uh, this is going to be a pretty special one. I'm looking at the pictures right now and I'm just, god, jumping with excitement over this review. <laughs> Awesome, man. Um, if you haven't read the title already, the review is on Chase Elliott's 2013 number 94 Aaron's Dream Machine Canada win truck that he won with at wherever the hell, uh, Mo Sport, that's the track. So, yeah, it's a Mo Sport. Any kind of Mo Park, but technically it's Mo Sport. Everybody calls it Mo Sport. Yeah, it's Mo Sport. <laughs> Um, exactly. Yeah. Alright, so Robbie, why don't you uh, tell us what you think about the truck while I give these guys a 360 view of the box. I just noticed that the American Ethanol logo is on the left side of the die cans here. Uh, is it on yours? Because I got, I got a picture. Here. Yeah. Wow. It's supposed to be on the right side. Congrats. No, it's no, it's supposed to because that's the way the pit road is at, can't, at most sport. Just like at Watkins Glen. No, it's on the driver's side, on the diecast. Not on my diecast. Oh, you probably are looking at the regular version. I got the race version. Oh. Zip, whoops. <laughs> Same freaking thing, except for it's got a couple markings on it. That's it. Oh, boy. Well, you know, it's the same thing. You know, it's a really cool diecast. I really like it. I... I saw this thing at Brickles. It was actually a really nice truck. I mean, you can't go wrong with this damn truck. It's really nice. Yeah, I mean, I I love the truck. Um, of course, the whole reason I bought the truck was because Chase uh, was going to be at a Napa right by my house. So I bought the truck, uh, I guess, about a week ago, and it came Monday. And you see all this Chase Elliott stuff behind you, or right in front of the camera, you know, hat. I thought I was bad with the Elio stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got the hat, my mom's 164, my 164 koozie, hero card, the Napa know-how can. I mean, but we're not even reviewing a Napa car. We're reviewing this thing, the number 94 Aaron's Dream Machine, Chase Elliott. All right, um, I'll go ahead and get on with the sponsors on this thing. Aaron's Dream Machine on the hood with HendrickCars.com. Chevrolet 94, uh, Bill Elliott Racing is underneath the headlight. On this side you got 94, uh, at Chase Elliott on the, where the name is supposed to be. And then you got, um, the B-Pillar sponsors, uh, Racing Electronics, one of them, Penske Truck Rental, Mobile One, Pepsi Max. And then, you know, they got the little Aaron sponsors that they have on all their cars. Uh, you got Aaron's on the side with the Lucky Dog. And then you got HendrickCars.com with a bunch of damage on it. And then on the better truck, you got HendrickCars.com. On the bumper, you got Aaron's, HendrickCars.com, the Rookie Stripe, Chevrolet 94. And there's the American Ethanol logo. So, that's pretty much yeah, it for the sponsor. Don't look at the regular version of this damn die cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. It's the same thing. Same stuff. Yeah. All right, now time with the paint scheme. Oh my God, I'm really excited to say what this is because to me, I'm looking at this for just about five seconds and I can already tell that this thing looks like a paint splatter on the side of the truck. I like it. I like it. That's what I, that's what I think it is. But I see that we got ourselves uh, mainly white front bumper, but you got that red stripe that is that kind of like goes out towards the side of the truck. And like I said, it kind of looks like a splatter of paint. It looks like a, a blob of blue that stretches out. And they got a blob of red after it that stretches out. And it makes like these paint lines. And like somebody took a paint bucket and just dropped it on the die cast. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it does. That's all I was thinking. Like paint strokes or, yeah, paint splattered everywhere. But... I also got another paint splatter on the on the uh, rear quarter panel, so I, apparently this guy must have been a clumsy guy. Yeah, tripped over, got it all over the front bump or the front, and then dropped another can on the back. Lesson learned: don't drink and and 
big paint schemes for cars now. Oh, you're one to talk about drinking and then doing other things with your Twisted Tea review. <laughs> hey, somebody told me, uh, all that's good 23 said, don't feel too bad when you drink and do reviews while people drink and make the damn die kiss in the first place. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I know. But, um, uh, we'll go over the race version part to this truck. Um, on the front bumper here, uh, you kind of see it a little bit. Uh, it's kind of dark and black and tire marks and type shit on the front end. That's where he got into Ty Dillon, and that's when I decided Chase Elliott was going to be one of my favorite drivers because I absolutely cannot stand Ty Dillon. But, uh, and then here on the back, you got the, uh, oh, now you know, I'm looking at the damn race version. You are? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> but, um, of course you got, you know, markings on the tires, like all the other race versions. Then you got the, uh, well, damage from where he got in an earlier incident or hit somebody hit him in the rear quarter panel right where the HendrickCars.com logo is. And then on the back, it's pretty much the same. And on the side, it's mostly the same with, would you consider this a race version aspect, the American Ethanol logo on the other side? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, well, there's another one. <laughs> and, of course, you see on the windshield, it is autographed by Chase Elliott. So, yeah. Uh, does your, does your diecast have a window on the passenger side? It's not supposed to. It does not. Good. You get something right for change. Yeah, really. I've, I mean, all in all, it's a beautiful diecast. Uh, Chase Elliott, super nice guy to meet. Probably, as I told Robbie earlier, he's probably one of the nicest guys I've ever, one of the nicest drivers I've ever met, and nicest guys I ever met. So, that's the truck. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Robbie, give your final thoughts on this truck. Now that I'm looking at the God Darn Race version, I can finally say that this is a really cool race version. I'm looking at a proper die guess. I didn't make myself look like a fool again by saying the American Ethanol logo was on the driver's side of the car. Wow. I am good with these reviews. You're wonderful, Robbie. That's why you're the man, the myth, the legend. Robbie Noonan, everybody. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, awesome truck. Uh, it's interesting. It's cool because it's Bill Elliott Racing. Um, that makes it really neat. And, again, Chase, you ever get to meet the guy. He's a great guy to meet. And that's pretty much it. Um, thank you, Robbie. You are the man, um, everybody. If you're watching my videos, hopefully you've already subscribed to Robbie because he's a lot bigger than I am. So if you haven't, go do that or go fuck yourself. Subscribe to this guy. Subscribe to Buddy Lazier. Name's not fucking Buddy Lazier, Robbie, okay? <laughs> um, <laughs> Skype me if you want at Buddy Not Lazier Pulley or Buddy for the Win. Uh, Robbie, what's your Skype name? My Skype name is Robbie Near 93, I think it is, yep. Yeah. Okay, well, you know, if you want, go Skype him, unless you're like a creeper, like some people we know. By the way, there's news, a news flash before we end before we this review. Apparently, there's this cool invention called caffeinated beer. I gotta try it. Well, that sounds pretty, well, of course, I can't drink, so, but it's caffeinated beer. Caffeinated beer, how about that? So when I drink, I can still get the caffeine I get from drinking all the Mountain Dew I drink. Yes, you could. Good, because well, I've already so had... Go ahead. So you'll be a jacked up drunk instead of a lazy drunk. Yeah, because I've already had six Mountain Dews since I got home at whenever o'clock I got home. So, thanks guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, comment, like, subscribe. Go subscribe to Robbie Noonan and or race day 2011 and I'll see you guys later